1.2, linear combination, matrix vector product, and the special matrices. First, the definition of a linear combination. Linear combination um, seems to be a concept that seems abstract at first. I got people asking me questions about linear combination, about the definition of linear combinations two months into the class. So what is the definition? A linear combination, we will use the abbreviation LC because we will be using this term all the time. A linear combination of the vectors u1 to uk is a vector of the form c1 u1 plus c2 u2 all the way to ck uk and these c1 to ck are scalars so that means they are real numbers called linear combination coefficients for example let's consider the vector 2 1 2 1 it can be written as the vector 0 1 plus 2 times 1 minus 1 so the top one will get 2 and the bottom one will get for the bottom we get minus 1 so it can be written in this form and this form is what we have for a linear combination so we say the vector 2 minus 1 is a linear combination of 0 1 vector and the 1 minus 1 vector of a linear combination of these two vectors and what are the linear combination coefficients simply the coefficients here and here so this is a 2 and this is a 1. The linear combination coefficients are 1 and a 2. Another example is the vector 1, 0, a linear combination of these two vectors. Well, if it is, then we can write it as a linear combination, right? So it is a linear combination of these two vectors. If we can find scalars x1 and x2 such that this vector can be written as a linear combination of this form. This means in particular 2 times x1 plus x2 is equal to 1. So 2 times x1 plus x2 is equal to 1. And 1 times x1 plus 1 times x2 is equal to 0. So x1 plus x2 is equal to 0. So to answer the question whether or not this is a linear combination of these two vectors is the same asking whether this has a solution. And we know how to solve equations like this, right? This is a set of two equations. Is the solution unique? Meaning there's only one solution, 2, 1, and that's 1, 1. We get a unique solution. We will use abbreviation self for solution. We get a unique solution. x1 equal to 1 and x2 equal to minus 1. So in this case, yes, it is a linear combination of these two vectors. And the solution of linear combination coefficients is unique. More generally, we can make the following sta statement, which you may have already known. If we have two vectors, u1 and u2, in R2, and these two vectors are not parallel, then any vector W in R2 is a linear combination of these two vectors. Just now, we mentioned that these two are actually the same question. The first question, is V a linear combination of U1 to UK vectors? This question is the same as the following one. Does the equation X1, U1 plus x2 u2 all the way to xk uk equal to some v vector. Does this equation have a solution? These are actually the same questions. In this case, we can say v is a linear combination of a u1 to uk if and only if x1 u1 plus x2 u2 all the way to xk uk equal to v has a solution. Let's talk a little bit more about if and only if statements if you are not quite familiar with this yet. Suppose we have an A statement a and B statement and we say A statement if B statement. That means B imply A or A imply B. This means if B is true then A is true, right? B implies A. We may also have A statement only if B statement. So if A is true, then B must be true. 
So in this case, we have A implies B. And if we have if and only if A statement, if and only if B statement, that means A implies B and B implies A, these are equivalent. We will use the notation double error to denote if and only if. And coming back to our case here, V is a linear combination of these vectors. is actually the same as this equation has a solution. So V is a linear combination of these vectors if and only if this equation has a solution. Another example is vector 1, 0, a linear combination of these two vectors. Same as in previous example, it's a linear combination of these two vectors if we can find scalars x1 and x2 such that this equation has a solution. In this particular example, we see that these two vectors 2, 0 and 3, 0, they are parallel. So there could be two possibilities, either infinitely many solution or no solution. In this case, 1, 0 is parallel to 2, 0. So we have more than one solution. For example, we can put half here and 0, or we can put 0 and 1 third here. So 1, 0 is a linear combination of these two vectors, and the solution of linear combination coefficients not unique. How about this example? Is 1, 0 a linear combination of these two vectors? Again, this is the same as asking, is this vector a linear combination of these two vectors? Is the same as asking, if we can we find the scalars x1 and x2 such that this equation has a solution? Does this equation has a solution? No, it doesn't. These two vectors are parallel, but 1, 0 is not parallel to either one of them. So the answer is no. Second definition. In this section, matrix vector product. A is n by n. It has n column vectors, a1 to an. And v is an n by 1 vector. v has entries v1 to vn. The matrix vector product of a and v is defined like this. This vector. What is this vector? Is it related to the first definition? It is a linear combination, isn't it? It's a linear combination of a1 to an, the column vectors of a, and the linear combination coefficients are v1 to vn, entries of this v vector. A question, suppose we have a u vector, it's in this form, well it's a linear combination of the b1, b2, and b3 vectors, and the linear combinations coefficients are alpha1, alpha2, and alpha3, so u is in this form. Can we write u as a matrix vector product? We can, right? We can simply collect these B vectors together in one matrix and these alpha together in one vector. Then U is the matrix vector product. Let's call this B matrix and this alpha vector. Then is the matrix vector product of B matrix and alpha vector. If we put the definition and the conclusion we can draw from this question together, we have an if and only if statement. These two are if and only if statement. U is a linear combination of a1 to an with the linear combination coefficient v1 to vn. If and only if u can be written as the matrix vector product a v. A is matrix that consists of column vectors a1 to an and v is the column vector whose entries are v1 to vn. So although we talked about two things in this section, linear combination and matrix vector product, but these two turn out to be the same thing, a linear combination of these vectors, and uh, it's the same as saying that it's the matrix vector product like so. We can also put matrix vector product in another form, and this may be the form that you are more familiar with. We have a matrix here, and v is n by 1. The matrix vector product of A and V is the vector, like so. The first element, first entry, is A11, V1, plus A12, V2, all the way to A1, N, V, N. And the last, and all the way down, like so. And the uh, entry, like this. So we simply multiply the entry of A and V one by one together and add them up. For one reading assignment here, please read up the discussion on rotation matrix in the textbook. 
It's on page 22. It's the last part of this section. Special matrices. Let's first define standard vectors. The standard vectors e1 to en, these are vectors in Rn, are defined like this. e1 has a 1 in the first entry and all zeros in others. And e2 has a 1 in the second entry and zeros elsewhere. And en is 1 in the last entry and 0 else. A question. We have a matrix here an M by M matrix. What would be the matrix vector product of A and E1? Take a moment to think about this. Remember, a matrix vector product is nothing but a linear combination of the column vectors of A, the linear combination A1, A2 to A, N, and the linear combination coefficients are the entries of E1. What are the entries of E1? It has a 1 and all zeros. So we have 1, 0, and 0. So we get a 1, isn't it? So when we have the matrix vector product A and E1, we are extracting, extracting the first column vector A1. We are extracting, extracting the first column. How about the matrix vector product A, E2? It will be very similar, right? Still, it's the linear combination of A1, A2 to AN. But now, the linear combination coefficients will be 1, 0, and all zeros. So we get A2. So the matrix vector product a E2 is actually extracting the second column vector out. In general, if we have the matrix vector product E, A, and E, K, we would have, what would be the result? The result would be the same as extracting the kth column vector out. Last definition, identity matrix. If we put the standard vectors E1 to EN in one matrix, and this becomes a, an M by M matrix. This matrix is called the identity matrix. On the diagonal, we have 1 and uh, 0 in all the other places. For example, N equal to 2, and I2 is the identity matrix. I equal to 3, I3 is this identity matrix 1, 1, 1, and 0 everywhere else. Question. Suppose we have a vector V in R2. What will be I2, V? The matrix product I2, V. Well, I2, V, we have the identity matrix here, and B1, B2 here. So the result is B1, V2. So we are back to V again. V. More generally, Suppose V is a vector in Rn, what would be the matrix vector product I and B? Would it still be V? Think about this.